This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Tired of missing out on figures or paying scalper prices at toy stores? Then go ahead and visit DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. You can get 10% on anything Transformers, accumulate points, and sometimes score an exclusive figure you thought you'd miss forever. Head over to DJC Collectibles and start saving today. Hi everyone, my name is Raz LK and I'm back with another tour review and today legacy slash netflix sound wave it's already out because i can't get them uh, i can't keep them in the box i just have to play with them and it's great artwork this is the netflix mode you know this is nothing special you've seen it but what i'm most excited about is this guy here a freaking buzz uh, finally and i don't have this mold i have the siege mold of laser beak uh, but i don't have the uh, netflix mold and same thing with Ravage, I don't have the, uh, you know, slightly different uh, Earthrise, not Earthrise, but Netflix mold. I have the Siege one. This is the, like, Stealth Ravage. And this is the, um, I guess, Toy Color um, Rumble. Uh, I don't like the colors on this guy, so I'm actually giving this figure to my six-year-old. Because uh, he loves, I don't know why, but he loves uh, little cassette guys. So he's gonna have way more fun with that. I have the Studio Series 86 one uh, in cartoon color, so I really don't need this one. But, you know, my son's gonna enjoy that, so he was really happy. And of course, a tape deck sound wave. Can't wait to have that. I'm gonna compare him with the Siege one, and then the Siege, I'm gonna transform into a lamppost and put him with my Cybertronian shelf, uh, my pilot episode shelf. So, can't wait to do that, but before I do it, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, main feature on my channel, and also check out the uh, voice actor interview playlist. Um, you know, it still baffles me that these guys agreed to spend an hour with me, and it's, every one of those hours was fantastic. And now let's roll the intro. All right, this is going to be a major update to my collection, so that's 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 cool. Um, I like this guy already. I mean, he, he's really clean, uh, so I think that's worth it. And I know we'll see. So you have the instruction, like a, one side for sound wave, and maybe a bit of the other side, and then after that, it's the uh, the cassette. So, uh, but it, this is I'm probably going to check it for this guy just to make sure. But uh, for the other guys, it's pretty much everything we, we've seen before. All right, let's get rid of the box. Nice, you know, the tape, tape deck, the three characters. Uh, that's really neat. And then on the, in the back, you have all product shots. The big box takes a lot of room. And then uh, for accessories, you have the same thing that you had with Siege, except painted differently. And if mine is, uh, this is the uh, Siege one, um, so it's, you know, you have, well, it's, uh, oh wait, it's this one here. So you have like a little bit of red now uh, instead of the, uh, right, but it's pretty much the same thing. And now I said it's painted differently, but I think the red line is pretty much the only thing that's different. Yeah. Uh, same thing with the gun. You know, you have this thing. And I don't know why they re-included that thing. I mean, yeah, sure, you can do the big gun. I mean, most people did not display it like that. And that's that part is actually on my Earthrise Megatron uh, in the back, so it gives them kind of a, you know that missing piece from uh, G1. So, I don't know. And I guess, can you include that here so we can be like a super, super gun? You know. If you want to, it's something. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why they re-included that. Uh, s you have uh, Rumble. Rumble, eliminate resistance. I'm trying, Soundwave! Which, uh, like I mentioned, I'm going to give to my kid. He's, uh, I like him. I mean, it's a good mold, but I, I these colors, I mean, I never had the toy, so... Uh, but it's nicely painted with the gold here, the red, uh, the details on the chest. 
looks really nice uh, in the back clean you know a bit all over here but it cleans up good uh, still you know a bit of waffle behind here uh, the little guns um, you know they're different if you compare him with the uh, cartoon accurate one uh, I like this color scheme way more he's been toy hack so but you know he has a bit of a, the the it's the same old same details just different colored gun and uh, but he does have the same red and gold on the legs so yeah that's gonna go to my kid and uh, he's uh, uh, he's really excited about that but I told him you have to wait for daddy to do the review first uh, and then you can twist these arm uh, a lot of display show him with like the ball joint I don't like that so I usually put it this way and clip it so and then you have this side here side here put him a little sideways and there you go so let's put him in the back he's done ravage Uh, I did not own this mold. I have the Siege one. Uh, and so basically the difference I can see is the open mouth and the paint application. Everything else is really the same. I mean, this is the stealth version. So he's painted more black. So I don't know if I'm going to... I mean, there's a couple mold details here. That, nah, that's pretty much the same. So, yeah, I mean, the eyes and I don't know if you can see it on camera here, but the eyes are a bit different and the uh, the mouth. That's pretty much pretty much it. So I don't know if I'll keep that. Maybe I'll give that to my kid as well, uh, because I really I mean, it's ravage. I don't really mind any mold. Um, it, it's it's a cassette, you know, but what I'm really excited about is this guy. Your cassette vultures have done well, Soundwave. I love Buzzsaw in these colors, and I'm really happy that it's the Earthrise mold because I have the Siege laser beak, so now I have each mold. Uh, they're pretty much the same uh, except for uh, color and head sculpt. But I do love the head sculpt here. I mean, I don't mind having a laser beak head sculpt. Uh, I mean, a, a siege head sculpt for a laser beak. It's I like this one, uh, but I do love. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I have to say, I'm way more uh, excited than I expected about Buzz. Like, I mean, I was happy to get a Buzz finally for the collection, but it's. I don't know. It looks so good. Look at all the paint details. Uh, the paint here, uh, the the eyes, the beak, and then colored plastic for the chest. You have the pin here to make him hold, and you have the little legs. I mean, it's very good. I I really like it. Huge pin though, so I'm hoping to get a black pin cover for this. Because yes, I probably will get the decals for this guy. And then you have the man himself. Soundwave with uh, well, I can't really show it here because of my display, but there's light piping And then you have the chest that opens up uh, cleans up really 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 well um, I mean, there's barely any hollowness in the back um, One thing I don't understand is why they kept the wrist gun But then people didn't understand it when it was released in Netflix uh, That could have been easily removed for a flusher arm um, I don't get that part you have like the plate the butt you know so there you go that's pretty it's he's a really nice figure um, I have the siege version of course which I have not toy hacks uh, same height uh, of course they share a lot of uh, mold details uh, but the legs are different, uh, the arms are pretty much the same, the shoulders are the same, but they're painted differently. Actually, no, they're not exactly the same. He has a blast effect port here on each shoulder, and he has them one here, 
and none on the other. So that's different. That's cool. Um, but yeah, the, I don't get why they left the wrist. Uh, I like the colors, a little paler uh, here, and I'm colorblind, right? So I know this is a little darker for the blue, uh, and this is a paler for the gray. Uh, he has the wrist paint, which we didn't get here. All right, so the legs are a little different. Uh, the molding, you know, three dots here, nothing here. Uh, way cleaner, no, uh, no battle damage. The chest is way cooler, I have to say. I mean, this is, you know, not bad. Uh, with the little extra decal I added but I mean this is clean looking and then from the back well you don't have this uh, extra junk uh, it's a completely different back I mean you have this thing here that moved and opened up and you don't have none of that with the Netflix version um, you don't have the guns on top so yeah I mean a different butt because he has like the shuttle or the pilot uh, seat. Uh, this this looks to be oh it's different too. I mean you have the same design of the kind of treads, but he has uh, the connectors for the transformation, uh, and then he does. But he doesn't have like the, the he's flatter. He has like little joints, uh, uh, not joints, but molded detail here with little paint application. Uh, but the feet are yeah the same, pretty much the same. So, all right, let's uh, take this guy off and do articulation for sound wave. So he has a full red head rotation, looks up a little bit, looks down just a bit, not much of an attitude. Uh, you do have your arm that extends like this, a full, uh, whoa. All right, so this falls off quite easily. I'm gonna call that a QC issue. Does it even clip? Uh, all right, it clips. I think it wasn't clipped in. All right, nice assembly. So anyway, you have your full Ferris wheel, no problem. Uh, no ab crunch, you have your full merry-go-round. Uh, you have the elbow. 90 degree oh more than 90 degree and then you have the hands that does not rotate uh, but flaps back and forth uh, you have a I'm guessing well you have a you know you have skirts in front and the back so you can get your uh, kick forward kick back uh, and then you get your Johnny Cage and uh, you have your knee band, uh, knee rotation, and then you have a, whoa, well, a very limited uh, ankle tilt, but you do have, oh, a very limited rocker as well. I mean, the tilt here and the rocker, very limited. Uh, that could have been improved upon, but otherwise, looks really good. So I've already done a bunch of comparisons so you can see the difference between the Siege versions of everything and this one, the Legacy version. Uh, so I'm gonna put this guy and all of these guys in alt mode and uh, you know go from there. The Insecticons plot treason. Okay, so here we are in alt modes. Uh, Rumble uh, looks good. Uh, this is the... Uh, you know, more 80s look. He, he, he kind of like the siege color, but I mean, they didn't have those paint application in the back, so that it does look really good. Uh, so, but I'm still gonna give that to my kid. And this too, um, it's not a great mold either. Earthrise or well, I mean, Netflix or Siege. Uh, Transform is, is uh, transformation is clunky. Uh, nice all black though. I mean, that's stealthy. And then you have here it says Japan and. 60a so nice throwback to the cassette of the 80s and he well it doesn't look anything like a cassette but i like the look of uh, all the colors all the paint application on the wings looks really good this is a that's yeah my favorite of the three cassettes and the tape mode is really good cleans up nice i mean you, you could do without the guns but you do have the connection here so i guess it works 
but you know you have placement here you can also place them here if you prefer and uh, use I don't know this spot for storage of this gun like this uh, there's really no good way to display uh, that as an antenna because it's either like it's too short or too long or too long from underneath so you can place it and if you place it straight in the middle it just looks goofy so this is a useless accessory so anyway uh, no, I'm gonna leave that there put that back here it adds to the stability just a little bit uh, and then well yeah the skirt moves uh, but then you have the uh, tape mode let's see if uh, they fit so let's go let's go uh, all right ah uh, there you go so no problem with rumble uh, the spring mechanism jams though all right thank you uh, what about ravage I'm gonna put ravage in there so close nice uh, oh it works and what about buzz uh... oh man that oh man with all the colors wow well, that looks really good oh and he's the best boom boom no problem all right definitely my favorite piece of this set I'm really impressed with uh, with this this oh wait this opens up I mistransformed that on my short I am now a little more upset so this does it clip yeah it clips over here completely missed that ah well looks way better too I did not see that looks really good all right let's do some comparison I mean not with the cassette stuff but you know let's uh, put them here on the side for now uh, let's put this guy here and let's find something to compare him to alternator sunstreaker of course they don't scale because he's not into mass shifting mode but if you put him with this one here you know kind of works and this is the other comparison with the kingdom mold which was fully toy hacks and he came with a laser beak but I did have a buzzsaw sticker in there which is the reason I got this uh, sticker set so yeah I like that so this I'm gonna keep this but this is way way more impressive but you do have some of the you know details are similar like this is a good representation and my son wants me to point out that he also has a skirt that lifts so there you go scale all right, well, let's uh, put all these guys in uh, robot mode and give you a, uh, a money shot. Decepticons retreat. This is all the cassettes that me and my son have, uh, cassettes and tapes. So, uh, Sound Blaster from, I think, Legacy? Maybe Kingdom? I No, Legacy. Uh, the, the new toy color rumble, cartoon color rumble. Siege Laser Beak, Legacy Ravage, Stealth Ravage, Siege Ravage, Kingdom, that's my Kingdom Toy Hacks, Soundwave, Legacy Soundwave, Legacy Buzzsaw, uh, Siege Radbat, Studio Series 86 Frenzy. Uh, this is my son's Ravage from the Bumblebee movie. We don't have the sun sound wave that goes with it. Uh, that's his uh, sound wave with a extra decals I had. Uh, Rumble, which I had bought, like the concept art Bumble B movie Rumble. I bought it because it looked cool, but he's like half size of pretty much every of these guys, and he's the same price, so I was really disappointed, so I gave it to my kid. And this is my Siege sound wave, how he's going to be displayed now uh, on my Cybertronian pilot episode shelf. So there you go. Complete family Decepticon. Uh, we're missing Overkill and Slugfest. I hope we get them soon. And that's going to complete the cassette collection. You know, maybe getting a Earthrise uh, mold of uh, Laser Beak wouldn't be a bad thing after all. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. I did. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.